It's been two weeks since James Muller, an Irmo firefighter, was killed while fighting a fire in Columbia. Today, a memorial run was held to honor the hero. News 19's Nate Stanley visited the event and spoke with the Irmo fire chief about how his men are doing 14 days later. We're clearing a path in front of us, uh, looking at the future. It's been a nightmare stretch of 14 days for the Irmo Fire District and Chief Michael Sonnefeld. He says they're still processing the death of 25-year-old firefighter James Muller, who was lost on Friday, May 26th. He says amongst a pile of paperwork and tough conversations, his guys are getting back into the swing of things. Uh, we got some of the guys back on the rigs, which is really important. I think they're getting back in their comfort zone, which is important. Um, it's not going to be anything that's going to take a couple weeks or a couple months. It's going to be a long time. He was at the Running for Heroes run on Friday. According to board member and Lexington native David Arnold, the organization aims to honor fallen first responders around the country by hosting a ceremonial one mile long run. The one thing about the Irmo community is, is it is a very tight knit community and people come and show support for their first responders and for each other. He says the support in Irmo is like nowhere else in the country. That support was on display as 13-year-old Andrew Collinson began the run. He's an Atlanta native and a volunteer runner with Running for Heroes. He was accompanied by a red American flag, a picture of Muller, and close to a dozen other runners, including some Irmo firefighters. Chief Sonnefeld says it shows just how big of an impact Muller's death has had on the community. The run lasted a little over six minutes and took five laps around the Crossroads Middle School parking lot, starting and ending with a speech about Muller and a prayer. Sonnefeld says the goal now for his men is taking care of each other and James Muller's family. We're, we're kind of in a mode right now that you know we care for our families, we care for Jay's family unbelievably. I mean we just want to make sure we're doing all the right things for them. It's the most important thing we're doing. Um, you know, he was here under our watch and for now on his family is our family and always will be. In Irmo, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX.